Universe Books. The Power of Your Subconscious Mind. By Dr. Joseph Murphy, Ph.D., 1963. This is an audiovisual project, derived from the original classic book. Produced by Universe Books Channel. All rights reserved. Chapter 9, How to Use the Power of Your Subconscious for Wealth. If you are having financial difficulties, if you are trying to make ends meet, it means you have not convinced your subconscious mind that you will always have plenty and some to spare. You know men and women who work a few hours a week and make fabulous sums of money. They do not strive or slave hard. Do not believe the story that the only way you can become wealthy is by the sweat of your brow and hard labor. It is not so, the effortless way of life is the best. Do the thing you love to do, and do it for the joy and thrill of it. I know an executive in Los Angeles who receives a six-figure salary. Last year he went on a nine-month cruise seeing the world and its beauty spots. He said to me that he had succeeded in convincing his subconscious mind that he is worth that much money. He told me that there are people in his organization earning about one-tenth as much as he does who know more about the business than he does and could probably manage it better. However, they have no ambition and no creative ideas. They are not interested in the wonders of their subconscious mind. Wealth is of the mind. Wealth is ultimately nothing more than a subconscious conviction on the part of the individual. You will not become millionaire by saying, I am a millionaire, I am a millionaire. You will grow into a wealth consciousness by building into your mentality the idea of wealth and abundance. Your invisible means of support. The trouble with most people is that they have no invisible means of support. When business falls away, the stock market drops, or they take a loss on their investments, they seem helpless. The reason for such insecurity is that they do know how to tap the subconscious mind. They are unacquainted with the inexhaustible storehouse within. Someone with a poverty-type mind finds himself poverty-stricken conditions. Someone else, with a mind filled with ideas of wealth, is surrounded by everything he needs. It was never intended that we should lead a life of indigence. You can have wealth, everything you need, and plenty to spare. Your words have power to cleanse your mind of wrong ideas and to instill right ideas in their place. The Ideal Method for Building a Wealth Consciousness Perhaps you are saying as you read this chapter, I need wealth and success. This is what you do, repeat for five minutes to yourself three or four times a day, wealth, success. These words have tremendous power. They represent the inner power of the subconscious mind. Anchor your mind on this substantial power within you, then conditions and circumstances corresponding to their nature and quality will be manifested in your life. You are not saying, I am wealthy, you are dwelling on real powers within you. There is no conflict in the mind when you say, wealth. Furthermore, the feeling of wealth will well up within you as you dwell on the idea of wealth. The feeling of wealth produces wealth, keep this in mind at all times. Your subconscious mind is like a bank, a sort of universal financial institution. It magnifies whatever you deposit or impress upon it whether it is the idea of wealth or of poverty. Choose wealth. Why your affirmations for wealth fail. I have talked to many people over the years whose usual complaint is I have said for weeks and months, I am wealthy, I am prosperous, and nothing has happened. I discovered that when they said, I am prosperous, I am wealthy, they felt within that they were lying to themselves. One man told me, I have affirmed that I am prosperous until I am tired. Things are now worse. I knew when I made the statement that it was obviously not true. His statements were rejected by the conscious mind, and the opposite of what he outwardly affirmed and claimed was made manifest. Your affirmation succeeds best when it is specific and when it does not produce a mental conflict or argument. The statements made by this man made matters worse because they suggested his lack. Your subconscious accepts what you really feel to be true, not just idle words or statements. The dominant idea or belief is always accepted by the subconscious mind. How to avoid mental conflict. The following is the ideal way to overcome this conflict for those who have this difficulty. Make this practical statement frequently, particularly prior to sleep, by day and by night I am being prospered in all of my interests. This affirmation will not arouse any argument because it does not contradict your subconscious mind's impression of financial lack. 
I suggested to one businessman whose sales and finances were extremely low and who was greatly worried that he sit down in his office, become quiet, and repeat this statement over and over, my sales are improving every day. This statement engaged the cooperation of the conscious and subconscious mind, and results followed. Don't sign blank checks. You sign blank checks when you make such statements as there is not enough to go around, there is a shortage, I will lose the house because I can't meet the mortgage, and so forth. If you are full of fear about the future, you are also writing a blank check and attracting negative conditions to you. Your subconscious mind accepts your fear and negative statement as your request and proceeds in its own way to bring obstacles, delays, lack, and limitation into your life. Your subconscious gives you compound interest. To him that hath the feeling of wealth, more wealth shall be added, to him that hath the feeling of lack, more lack shall be added. Your subconscious multiplies and magnifies whatever you deposit in it. Every morning as you awaken, deposit thoughts of prosperity, success, wealth, and peace. Dwell upon these concepts. Busy your mind with them as often as possible. These constructive thoughts will find their way as deposits in your subconscious mind, and bring forth abundance and prosperity. Why nothing happened? I can hear you saying, oh, I did that, and nothing happened. You did not get results because you indulged in fear thoughts perhaps 10 minutes later and neutralized the good you had affirmed. When you place a seed in the ground, you do not dig it up again later in the day. You let it take root and grow. Suppose, for example, you are about to say, I will not be able to make that payment. Before you get further then I will stop the sentence. Change it into a constructive statement, such as, I will be prospered in all my ways. True source of wealth. Your subconscious mind is never short of ideas. There are within it an infinite number of ideas ready to flow into your conscious mind and appear as cash in your pocket in countless ways. This process will continue to go on in your mind regardless of whether the stock market goes up or down, or whether the pound sterling or dollar drops in value. Your wealth is never truly dependent on bonds, stocks, or money in the bank, these are only symbols, necessary and useful, of course, but only symbols. The point I want to emphasize is that if you convince your subconscious mind that wealth is yours and that it is always circulating in your life, you will always and inevitably have it, regardless of the form it takes. Trying to make ends meet and the real cause. There are many people who claim that they are always trying to make ends meet. They seem to have a great struggle to meet their obligations. Have you listened to their conversation? In many instances their conversation runs along this vein. They are constantly condemning those who have succeeded in life and who have raised their heads above the crowd. Perhaps they are saying, oh, that fellow has a racket, he is ruthless, he is a crook. This is why they lack. They are constantly condemning the thing they claim to desire and want. The reason they speak critically of their more prosperous associates is because they are envious and covetous of the other's prosperity. The quickest way to cause wealth to take wings and fly away is criticize and condemn others who have more wealth than you. A common stumbling block to wealth. There is one emotion that is the cause of the lack of wealth in the lives of many. Most people learn this the hard way. It is envy. For example, if you see a competitor depositing large sums of money in the bank and you have only a meager amount to deposit, does it make you envious? The way to overcome this emotion is to say to yourself, isn't it wonderful? I rejoice in that man's prosperity. I wish for him greater and greater wealth. To entertain envious thoughts is devastating, because it places you in a negative position. Therefore, wealth flows away from you instead of to you. If you are ever annoyed or irritated by the prosperity or great wealth of another, claim immediately that you truly wish for him or her greater wealth in every possible way. This will neutralize the negative thoughts in your mind and cause an ever greater measure of wealth to flow to you by the law of your own subconscious mind. Rubbing out a great mental block to wealth. If you are worried and critical about someone who you claim is making money dishonestly, stop worrying about him. If your suspicions are correct, you know that such a person is using the law of mind negatively. In time, the law of mind will take care of him. Be careful not to criticize him for the reasons previously indicated. Remember, the block or obstacle to wealth is in your own mind. You can now destroy that mental block. 
This you may do by getting on mental good terms with everyone. Sleep and grow rich. As you go to sleep at night, practice the following technique. Repeat the word wealth quietly, easily, and feelingly. Do this over and over again, just like a lullaby. Lull yourself to sleep with the one word, wealth. You should be amazed at the result. Wealth should flow to you in avalanches of abundance. This is another example of the magic power of your subconscious mind. Serve yourself with the powers of your mind. Decide to be wealthy the easy way, with the infallible aid of your subconscious mind. Trying to accumulate wealth by the sweat of your brow and hard labor is one way to become the richest man in the graveyard. You do not have to strive or slave hard. Wealth is a subconscious conviction. Build into your mentality the idea of wealth. The trouble with most people is that they have no invisible means of support. Repeat the word wealth to yourself slowly and quietly for about 5 minutes prior to sleep and your subconscious will bring wealth to pass in your experience. The feeling of wealth produces wealth. Keep this in mind at all times. Your conscious and subconscious mind must agree. Your subconscious accepts what you feel to be true. The dominant idea is always accepted by your subconscious mind. The dominant idea should be wealth, not poverty. You can overcome any mental conflict regarding wealth by affirming frequently, by day and by night I am being prospered in all of my interests. Increase your sales by repeating this statement over and over, my sales are improving every day, I am advancing, progressing, and getting wealthier every day. Stop writing blank checks, such as, there is not enough to go around or there is a shortage, and so forth. Such statements magnify and multiply your loss. Deposit thoughts of prosperity, wealth, and success in your subconscious mind and the latter will give you compound interest. What you consciously affirm, you must not mentally deny a few moments later. This will neutralize the good you have affirmed. Your true source of wealth consists of the ideas in your mind. You can have an idea worth millions of dollars. Your subconscious will give you the idea you seek. Envy and jealousy are stumbling blocks to the flow of wealth. Rejoice in the prosperity of others. The block to wealth is in your own mind. Destroy that block now by getting on good mental terms with everyone. Well, here we finished this chapter of the book. Continue to listen in the next chapter. If you like this video, if it brought a valuable information to you, you can help us clicking the like button, it is a positive sign for YouTube to suggest this audiobook to other people, and help the channel's growth. If you think that this video made your reading easier, if you think that it made your reading faster and more practical, if you think that we should launch more like this, write a comment here, we would like to know your opinion, it is very important for us. Remember to subscribe, and you will be informed when we launch new videos. Thank you for watching, see you in next chapter. Be always welcome. Production, Universe Books Copyright 2016